tonight's presentation, we're going to have our introductory look at geometry. And more specifically, we'll be talking about lines, line segments, and rays. And here is where it all begins. You may be looking at the screen thinking, Mr. Marinick, all I see are two red dots. Well, yeah, that's really kind of where it begins. Because I wanted to talk about a line. And, a, and technically speaking, a line is a one-dimensional figure. That's right, I said one-dimensional figure, meaning it has no thickness. But it, it extends in two directions infinitely. So, you know, this is kind of like our first taste of the infinite um, on Mr. Marinick's edu blog. So we're going to show that this line extends infinitely in two directions by placing little arrow ends at both ends, on the left and on the right in this case. And you'll notice that it's perfectly straight. So a line extends infinitely in two directions. So it extends and it never ends that direction. And it extends on to an infinite length and to the left there. Kind of exciting um, if you think about it. It's a really complex idea. So <laughs> it's a one-dimensional figure. I know today's movies, you see 3D movies, um, <laughs> stereoscopic 3D. But um, in this case, it's a one-dimensional figure, and it extends infinitely in two directions. Now, you'll notice that it passes through these two red blobs here. Well, those red blobs are there to represent two points on the line. So, you know, conveniently, we'll just label them A and B. You know, when we're starting off in, in geometry, it's easy to really, you know, get a hold of the you know, letters to represent points. So that's really, you know, a nice convenient way to, you know, talk about what line this is. So we can name this line now. So this is a line. Major points, it extends, no pun intended, five points there. It extends in two directions infinitely. And it can be named by two points that it passes through. Now, you know, technically, you know, there are an infinite number of points <laughs> on this line. However, we're going to label this line with A and B. And now we can name this line. When you're naming a line, you kind of have to make a little copy of that, you know, the symbol, and we'll do that. And we can't forget to put our arrow ends to represent infinitely in two directions. So it extends both directions there infinitely. And the two points that we're going to use to name this line are A, B. So this is line AB. And you can also flip it around. So we're going to drag this over here. So this line technically, it doesn't matter which you know order you put it in. It could be A B or it could be line B A. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna write down B A for this because it passes through points B and A, and it really doesn't matter, you know, which which you choose. You can label it either way. Either way is correct to name that line. So, kind of like multiplication, you can switch around the factors. Well, you can switch around the points in a line, and you're still referring to the same line. <clears throat> so there, we have a line. And now, we're going to talk about just a part of a line. So, if you took, you know, points, uh, let's see, you know, you connected point A to point B, and then we take it out here, and, you know, I'm going to redraw those points on the end there, my little red, red orbs. <laughs> 
So now you're talking about the distance between these two points. And I'll just use a different color to show that this is not a line. Because remember, in order to be a line, it has to go on infinitely in two directions and be perfectly straight. There's no wiggles to it at all. It just goes on perfectly straight. And we can you know, talk about this and what that would be. So up above here, we have, we discussed a line. And now we're going to look at a line segment. And a line segment is just, you know, a part of a line, a piece of a line. If you, if you will. So if uh, we take those same points and instead of talking about the great expanse this line would be in infinitely both directions passing through those two points, the line segment just passes, it just it starts at A and ends at B. So it has two endpoints. So it has two endpoints. And in this case, it's AB. So similar to how we we named that line, we can name this line segment by using those two points. So in this case, we've got we've got points. Let me just write those on there for. Okay, we've got. line segment AB and similar to the line you can name it you know either direction it doesn't matter which um, endpoint you list first whoa I think I'll actually use the straight line for that I mean straight line segment I should say so it's it's either AB or you can label it you're probably guessing that B A, uh huh. There you go. So A B B A ABBA. Hmm. Well anyways. So we've got a line extends infinitely two directions, can be named by two points on that line. And the line segments has to be labeled or by the according to the endpoints that it has. We have endpoints A and B, so we can call it line segment AB or line segment BA. Now, something a little bit different. Hmm. We're going to talk about rays. And I like to kind of put that little arrow there. <laughs> Notice it's extending in only one direction. Hint, hint. So when we're talking about rays, um, well, let me just give you an example. So if you pretend that you're here, you know, you're here on Earth. Maybe a, a green uh, visitor from outer space or something, and, and you've got your, your powerful flashlight there. And, you know, it's at night, and you want to shine your flashlight out into space. You've got an endpoint. It was actually an originating point because that's where your flashlight would be. Okay, well that's where the the end of the ray is. So a ray has one endpoint and let's let's label that one. So I'm going to label it E for Earth. And then I'm going to put another endpoint on there. Yeah, it looks like our endpoint's blue. There's an endpoint, and there is an endpoint. Now I'm going to call that endpoint I, standing for heading towards infinity. So from Earth to infinity, you have a ray. So now, <laughs> a ray has an endpoint and extends infinitely 
in just one direction. Okay. Now, if you jump back to the previous slide, and technically, if you started at B and went on infinitely that direction, you would also have a ray, you know, starting at B and going infinitely in that direction. Or you could have a ray that starts at A and goes infinitely in that direction, and technically you could have one that starts at A and goes infinitely that direction, or B starting here and infinitely to the left. Doesn't matter. Either way, if it has an endpoint, just one, and extends infinitely in one direction, you got yourself a ray. So, so a little note there, ray. Uh, has one end point and extends infinitely in one direction. So it's a big difference between a ray and a line is the number of directions it extends infinitely. So with a ray, it extends infinitely in one direction. So if you think that Earth and infinity, infinity ray, it would be the endpoint Earth infinitely towards the infinite in outer space. So, how would we l label that? Well, you would label that by drawing a little ray there. If you'd like to draw your endpoint there, I mean, technically you could, you don't need to put that on there. And then you're going to label it according to what endpoints you do have. So, in this case, we had endpoints E and I. So, and it's, it's important to know, I mean, it does, it's perfectly straight when it, you know, when it extends from Earth to infinity. However, you cannot reverse the order of these points. You have to start with your end point. So, because, I mean, it makes sense. It, the endpoint's not here and extending infinitely to Earth. No, no. That is a very finite distance right there, so it can't be that way. So, there's Earth, and it extends infinitely that direction. So, we have ray EI in this case. Ray EI. Now, I put the moon in there. I don't know if you noticed. However, if you were wondering... So I was just thinking, if you were over here, let's draw a little figure down there, uh, if you don't mind my artistic um, inabilities there. So, so if you um, extend from that endpoint to the moon, you've got a line segment. See how that's it has two endpoints. Let's uh, for consistency on this slide, we'll. Use blue, so there's an endpoint, and there's an endpoint, and we can use the letters E for Earth, because it starts at Earth and ends at the moon. So it could be line segment EM or ME. Who are we? Anyways, so we've got, um, you've got line segment EM. Or M E. Okay, so not to be confused, let me write that in there just just so you know. So this is these are line segments. Probably picked that all up already, but good. So good for you. But just to make sure there's no confusion, <laughs> confusion. I gotta write line segments there. So you have rays one. Endpoint extends infinitely in one direction. Line segments have two endpoints, and you can label them either way. The ray you can't. You can't. This is not ray IE. It's ray EI. 
And if you had some kind of maybe um, like a ray of light, we'll just pretend, passing through our solar system, and it doesn't intersect with the Earth or Moon, it just extends infinitely in both directions, we'll say. Okay, so we don't know the origin of the light. We'll just pretend it's just going on infinitely in both directions. So you could go and pick two points on that. We'll pick um, X and Y. There's point X, point Y, and then you would have Can be written two ways. Hope you're thinking about those two points and trying to name this this line while I'm putting the infinite arrows at the end. So we've got two points x, y that this line passes through. So we simply label it by those two letters x, y. It's not x9. It's supposed to be x, y. And then we have y, x. Either way, it doesn't matter. So the only one you can't flip around that we talked about today is the ray. So there you have it. You have line segment, a ray, and a line. So that's a brief introduction to some geometric terms of line, line segment, and ray. So thanks for checking out Mr. Edu blog, and we will see you again next time. Bye.